this was a spur of the moment purchase to be honest. I've always been looking at high resolution portable audio players and assumed that the one I'd eventually get would be one by Theo. Earlier this year, Sony announced a range of new portable audio players aimed at audiophiles, including the gold NWWM1Z, as well as the much more affordable NWA35. It's at this point I have to say that Sony's product naming conventions are terrible. There aren't too many reviews on the internet for this, so in a way, I was buying this blindly. So, here are my thoughts on this high resolution audio player. The NWA35 has the thickness of an older iPod Classic, but the overall footprint much closer to that of a Nano. Unlike other audio players, there isn't a scroll wheel or front facing buttons. All the buttons are placed on the sides and the front is the display panel only. The player is very light and comfortable to hold. It's made out of a combination of metal and plastic. Good enough for the price, but don't go dropping this in the bath or on the ground outside. The buttons are clicky and responsive. It has a very nice look overall. The range of colours is very nice too and there's a cool Walkman logo on the back. On one side is a covered slot for a micro SD card expansion. The NWA35 comes with 16GB of internal memory, but I've stuck in a 200GB SanDisk memory card for more space. Now as I said previously, this is a touchscreen interface. The buttons on the side allow you to play or pause, skip tracks and change the volume. Track selection and navigation is done through the screen. There is no sign of an Android operating system here, and this UI is focused solely on finding and playing your music. The touchscreen is responsive and music loads quickly, whether stored on the internal or external memory. My biggest and most pleasant surprise is with the quality of the display. It's a 3 inch 800x480 WVGA display, which doesn't sound like much on paper, but it's great for this audio player. Even the thin text in the UI is displayed clearly. Album art looks great. The backlighting is even, and it even has a wide viewing angle. Whilst I doubt this is a laminated display, it sits close to the glass with minimal noticeable air gap. The display is quite reflective though, which would be my only complaint. Now it's worth saying at this point, this is an audio player only. No video playback, photo viewing, apps or games. You play your music or you don't. They are your options. I favour this approach to be honest, as it means you have a clean user interface and more space on the internal memory. Let's face it, the extras you sometimes get on these types of devices are usually half-baked anyway. You have a range of options for navigating your music library by artist, album, genre, release year or composer. There are also further categories for playlists, high res, which is above CD quality, folder navigation and sense me, a system where music is automatically categorised by mood for you. To take advantage of setting up playlists or using SenseMe, you need to use Sony's Media Go application, which annoyingly is only available for Windows PCs, no Mac support. So what about the sound? It's the most important consideration here. Well, I'm new to audio file listening and because sound is so objective, I'm not going to tell you it sounds great. I'm going to tell you that in my opinion, this sounds great. One big difference between this audio player and many others is the number of sound customization options. There is a six band EQ with a number of presets and custom options. The EQ does have an impact on the sound, so you can tweak the settings to suit your own taste. There are also further options to upscale compressed or CD quality audio to the equivalent of high res audio. The DC phase linearizer allows you to have the low frequency responses resemble that of an analog amplifier. You can also select dynamic audio environments such as a studio or a concert hall, and you can normalize the volume between your different tracks. I've listened to a range of music from different artists in both CD quality and high resolution FLAC, as well as the demo tracks in DSD. I've used a pair of Sennheiser HD 598SE open backed headphones, and I've generally been impressed. There is just one problem. This product is almost brilliant apart from one thing. It's 2017, and Sony have insisted that this audio player is charged with a proprietary cable. No micro USB or USB-C. It's an annoyance as it's one extra cable that you'll need to take with you. Overall, I can wholeheartedly recommend this audio player. It's great value for money and in my opinion, superior to the increasingly popular players from Theo. So that's my quick review of the Sony Walkman NWA35. If you found this video useful, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll be back soon with another video.